Let's get into some GPU news though. Intel's high-end ARC A770 custom graphics card with triple fan cooling teased by Gunair. We're finally getting some more information on these. You know, it was kind of looking like it may not actually get released, but we are starting to get board partners that are releasing at least some pictures surrounding it. And that can be extremely exciting, especially on the A770 front where we get a big bus. And as you guys know, I like big buses and I cannot lie. In addition to its custom ARC A380 graphics card reveal, Gunnear has also teased its next generation Intel Arc A770 custom graphics card, which features a triple fan cooler. The Arc Alchemist lineup will include the flagship A770, which will feature the full Arc ACM G10 GPU with 32 XE cores and a 256-bit bus interface. The previous rumor did state that the A770 will come with lower memory, and it looks like it was essentially an entirely different SKU as it will feature both 16 gigabyte and eight gigabyte flavors. The core specifications will remain the same. Moving on, we have a mid-tier Intel Arc A750 and A580. These cards are likely to compete with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 series lineup and are expected to feature 24 XE cores and 16 XE cores respectively. The A750 is expected to feature eight gigabytes of memory 256 bit, that's sounding awesome, but it could also be equipped with 12 gigabytes of memory at 192 bit, not quite as awesome. I hope the A750 comes with the 256 bit bus, personally, if it plans to go ahead against the 3060 series. The ARC A580 is expected to feature eight gigabytes of memory. I would assume that gets a cut down bus, of course. The design teased by Gunnear definitely is a flagship variant, which also is also confirmed by the vendor over at its official webpage. The card itself looks like a two and a half slot design with a massive heat sink that's cooled by a triple fan cooling solution. Currently, the flagship Intel Arc Limited Edition graphics card, which is also an Intel reference design, rocks a dual slot and dual fan cooler. Based on the size of the card, it looks like it will require at least dual eight pin connectors to boot while display outputs will include the standard triple display port and single HDMI ports. You can expect all the modern features from the card, such as support for Intel's XESS, DirectX 12 Ultimate, Adaptive Sync, etc. The high-end art graphics card lineup is expected to launch later this summer, so stay tuned for more information. A summer release would be pretty awesome, and as we stated here, 780, I wish it would be a 356-bit or 384-bit bus instead of 256-bit bus, but that's okay. If the A750 gets the rumor of the 256-bit bus, this could be pretty impactful for mining performance on memory-intensive algorithms such as ET hash and ETC hash and ergo and pretty much everything else at the end of the day. And that's the one I'd be looking forward to, especially if it comes in at a competitive price range, you know, below or at or around 300 US dollars. That's what we would be really looking for. So. The Intel GPUs are coming and manufacturing is looking like it is being completed. So that's really good. And we have more too. So they also did the A380 and they're talking about that hitting 150 US dollars. I'm not gonna read this entire article. Uh, it looks pretty clean. I really like the design on it. And if we scroll down for the A380, or yeah, A380, that's only gonna be a 96-bit bus. I don't think that uh, at $150, that's really gonna cut it. My performance kind of assumptions on this card in particular would be around the uh, GTX 1063 gig range. You can probably start picking up those used on the market for under $100, which would probably be a better bet than picking up the 380. Uh, unless, of course, you're focused on gaming and then the 380 probably has some new features, etc., that you'd want to pick it up for. But for cryptocurrency mining as a whole, that's kind of where I sit. It does have an 8-pin PCIe Express um, power adapter, it looks like here. So not too dissimilar. Maybe a little bit more power on the core side than like a 1063 3 gig, that sort of thing, or 1066 gig even, something like that. You do get more memory, right? Because you're supposed to get the six gig variant. Um, but as far as the bus width, not looking too fantastic as far as all that goes. So Intel, 
looks like they're coming out with some <coughs> and hopefully excuse me and hopefully we get to uh, start purchasing them and testing them and seeing what they do for cryptocurrency mining I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.